Hi guys, I'm Madeline Harvey. I'm a vocal coach and today, because you guys really requested it, I got so many requests for, for this. So what I'm going to be reviewing today is Dimash singing SOS. So you ready? Let's go. Oh, pretty. Very good. Okay. I just want to talk about this really fast. So far, with the way that his voice is presented, there's so much quality of being that's behind the doing. It's like he knows how to be very still and delicately touch his instrument and get so much out of it. It's so romantic, so romantic. But technically speaking, he gives us a very, he keeps us engaged by keeping us guessing. We're not really sure what's going to happen next. I'm guessing a lot's about to happen because we've already heard so much in such little time in the performance, but he gives us a nice, beautiful, delicate, almost understated vocal line with respect to vowels and consonants in the very beginning. And then when he goes deeper into that classical tone, he exaggerates it a little bit more. And his tone there is really indicative of acoustics and resistance. Meaning that through coming down to the sound, like a yawn, like when you go, uh, uh, you come down to the sound, I mean, you don't go, uh, uh, you don't go up to it. You come down to the sound, it disengages any muscles, any swallowing muscles in his neck and puts his larynx in such a beautiful placement. And he needed that for the, the Like that part, and he just drifted with it. He just delicately touched, touched that coordination and allowed it to be very pure and angelic. So that's what he's doing so far. Come down to it. It's like watching a flower bloom. Beautiful, beautiful. Now right there, same thing. You hear him, he, he came down to the sound and then he expanded it in his body and that's what that sounds like. Really good. Totally different approach to voice there. Yes, yes, I'm with that guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel about it. But just again, listening, first being washed over with awe at that, that whole thing. Let's take a listen. The second section, he shows us both a pop vocal with the way he comes into the voice with the se second section. It's, it's very, it's compressed, it's with the air. It sounds like he's crying into it, which is again, something you hear a lot in the genre of pop music. 
But then before he went into the rock vocal, he set it by coming down into the classical vocal and then opening up from there. So let's take a look at that part. <laughs> Did you hear it? Right there, right there. So this is why that's so important. So let's take a look at how the voice works for that section, that moment right there. He needed to come down through the classical nature to give him the backspace and to keep the larynx in a nice stabilized position. From there, and this is a really good view, his tongue is a little bit depressed in the back, meaning it's flat. And the back of his throat is also flat. But it didn't, didn't sound like that when he came into it. He went, oh, right? Which there's a nice shaped back space that larynx is in a nice position. And then he flattened it and flattened the tongue, which allowed the chords to stretch, and there goes that really great rock vocal. So you can start from one and then come into the other. Really beautiful stuff. It wouldn't surprise me, just again, with what we've heard so far, there's like, there's been like, I don't know, like three or four different voices right away. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm gonna take a hard conversational left-hand turn for just a second. It wouldn't surprise me at all if his star sign was something like a Gemini because there's so many different voices being expressed so authentically but contained within one artist. It's really, really lovely. So one more time, let's listen to that beautiful piece of music right there. <laughs> Hear that? Yeah, he's not efforting at all. <laughs> That's my favorite part, I love that. Okay, I didn't know that was I did not know that was coming. But I'm not surprised. Because again, he keeps us engaged by keeping us guessing. We heard that pattern, so he had to he had to tend to change it up a little bit with that crazy high note there. But he said it. Could you hear how he said it? He came down to it and then he stretched those chords and that high note was just a natural consequence of that. One more time for your guys' clever ears. Yeah, he's not, he's not, he's not efforting at all there. It's just sort of a release of energy. He, he was efforting more on the, like that part. And then he just sort of let it go at that point. Beautiful. So much courage, FYI, so much courage in that beautiful stuff. Oh, I love that vibrato, very beautiful. Coming down, expansion. Yes, 
good. Very good. It's, I need just a semi-second to gather my thoughts here. Um, you see such beautiful execution and demonstration of some very clean vocals. And, you know, we have partially broken it down as it's acoustics plus resistance, but more than anything, Dimash is quite an isolationist. He knows how to feel the difference between sections of his body. Like he can feel the difference between outside muscle and inside muscle. And even further still, inside, he can feel his vocal cords. I feel that he plays his vocal cords like a violinist plays the strings. He, it's like he feels the inner edges of those vocal cords with every sound that he makes. There's just such beautiful relationship between his air and his cords. And that's what keeps him in balance. You never see him effort. You never see him tense. And that tells me that he, he has come through sort of setting his sounds very lightly at first and then building them over time because there's just a polish. There's just a finesse about the way he can easily go from one voice into the next voice, into the next voice, into the next voice. And he never gives the impression that he is tired, that he, his energy has dropped. He's just connected. He's really connected to his voice. And FYI, if he ever came up to me and whispered in my ear, the, I would just, I would be down. I'd be down. I, I would just faint. <laughs> There's just such a, an angelicness about that sound that is quite superhuman. Quite, quite superhuman. But it's a combination of acoustics plus resistance plus inner edge finesse. That, that is where he's working. That's what he's choosing to, to present in terms of his vocal and the sound and the song. And it's, oh my gosh, it's been such ear candy to listen to. So thanks guys. Thanks for requesting this, this song. And I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button below. I'd love to see you here more often. And if you want to hang out with me on Instagram, then visit me at Madeline Harvey Music. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.